These are some of the first images which appear to show just a part of the battle for Rastan. The town where a handful of defected soldiers took up arms in the face of Bashar al-Assad's military and its crackdown on what until now has been a peaceful pro-democracy uprising. Home to the country's former interior minister, Mustafa Tlas, it's where many of the few Sunni soldiers serving in Syria's Alawite-dominated military are from. It's also where some of the most high-ranking defectors are based. According to residents, the town was on lockdown for almost a week. No one was allowed in or out as government soldiers, backed by paid thugs, went house to house, rounding up anyone suspected of supporting the opposition. Pro-democracy activists say that at least 3,000 from the town's 40,000 residents have been detained. They also put the death toll at more than 60, two of them women. This video allegedly shows one young man who was killed, his body riddled with bullets. Mosques were also targeted. The person who uploaded these images says the aircraft hovering above was spraying poisonous fertilizers. While it's almost impossible to independently verify what exactly happened here, what's left standing in Rastan shows the aftermath of a battle possibly unprecedented since the massacre of Hama in the 1980s by former President Hafiz al-Assad. Residents of the town say there is a severe lack of medicine and baby's milk and water remains cut off. With the UN Security Council unable to put more pressure on Assad to stop his violent suppression, and as the stories of the fight for Rastan get out, if defections continue within the army, there is a real fear that this seven-month-old uprising can take an even more violent turn. Jamal al-Shayal, Al-Jazeera.